We have two males and one female crested wood partridges in the butterfly garden. The female is about a year and a half old, and she was laying eggs just indiscriminately. She disappeared for mm, at least a week before they, they found the nest. We had two chicks hatch right after Thanksgiving. I think it was like the 28th of this, uh, November. When they hatch, they're little tiny black puffballs. Really cute little guys. They're, they're what we call precocial birds. That means that when they hatch, that they already can go out and fend for themselves somewhat. They can go out and run around and look for food. About three or four days later, the chicks could fly already. They can fly very early. We, we can already tell what gender they are by looking at their feathers because crested wood partridges are what we call dimorphic birds. You can tell by the plumage color which gender they are. The males are bluish green with a big red crest. And the females are pea green with uh, reddish or rufous wings, we call it. So we can already tell in the chicks that one of the chicks is that beginning to be that pea green. So she's a female and the other chick is starting to turn blue. It has a little crest already, so that's going to be a male. So we're pretty excited about that. Uh, they live in Burma, Thailand. They're a jungle bird. So what's nice is a butterfly garden is high in humidity and, you know, and it's quite warm in there. So it's perfect for crested wood partridges. It's a perfect little bird for high humidity and, and jungle setting. They like to be on the floor of the jungle hiding. Most of the day, they will be down in the vegetation. And just occasionally, you'll see them fly a little bit, but most of the time they'll be running, in the, running around on the ground. We've had at least two other groups of crested wood partridges in the, what, 10 years that this building's been open. But it hasn't happened a lot. And, and this species of bird is, is highly sought after in AZA facilities because they're very attractive. They add a lot, especially to butterfly gardens or jungle exhibits. It's, it's great that, that we're hatching some of our own now so we can build up our flock here. The parents actually help the chicks quite a bit. They'll dig things up for them to eat. They'll, they'll actually take a mealworm or insect and hand it to the chick. They are very, they do, they're very doting on their, on their chicks. The parents are doing a really good job taking care of them. And I, I, I like the fact that people have a chance to see them grow up. Yeah, we'll keep them on exhibits so everybody can see them.